to the Mega Mart show. I hope you have a belly full after that episode of us <laughs> of muk mukbanging, but it was more than mukbang. We would do, we'd listen, we sat there and had a whole feast. Yeah, we had a good time. We had a good, Simon. <laughs> we had a good chat with Chef Simon, but the food was, the food was great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I hope you had the chance to stop by the Mega Cafe and grab something to eat. Because yeah, breakfast, lunch. Liner, mm -hmm. according to Chef Sam. Exactly. <laughs> and also, while you're there grabbing your lunch, I'm hoping that you are getting the chance to check out the new low prices that are being offered at Mega Mart. I mean, the prices now are just ridiculous. We love it. And not to mention the landing page. You could sign up for your membership cards. Mm -hmm. You can also see a full list of all the discounts in the store. Yes, so all the discounts, all the special offers, and the everyday low prices. Yeah, as easily well. a ploy for you to spend off all your money. Because, I mean, <laughs> like, you're going to see where all, all the deals are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the best value by far, the best prices by far. Yeah. I mean, come on. So what's, what's up next, Renee? Well... Oh, something special. Yes, we're in the month of June. Mm -hmm. And as you know, at this time of the year, we like to celebrate the fathers. Yes. So Father's Day is upon us. And we are as excited as we were about Mother's Day, are oh, we? Definitely. And of course, we're going to have all the wonderful gift items prepared for the dads in the supermarkets as usual. So, Sha so Sam, tell mm -hmm. me something. Tell, do you have any fond memories of your dad growing up? I actually do. And this one is a little bit scary because it was a scary situation, but nothing like a good oh, trauma. You put fond and scary together. Nothing but okay. like a good trauma to bond it even more All to right. someone in your life. So we were crossing the river. It was, it was hurricane season, actually, I think. Mm -hmm. So it was rainy. And the bridge broke down. I grew up in this place called Hope Flats, overlooking Papine. Mm -hmm. Kind of like ghetto country, I won't call it. But okay. anyway, the bridge keep breaking down. This is when, before they would not fix the bridge. Mm -hmm. So the bridge is gone. So we have to walk this alternate route over a swinging bridge. Ooh. And then we have to cross this little river. Okay. And the river was raging, like seriously. So my dad, it was me and my three other sisters. And he mm -hmm. had to carry us across the river on his back one by one. And he almost got washed away. Oh, wow. Like, he slipped and the river was like... And we were like, Daddy, where are you oh, going? No. And he got his footing and we went. Carried and you. it was, that was one of like the best. Like our dad's saving us. Like he mm -hmm. was a literal hero. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's it always, it's etched in my brain. I'll always remember that. Okay, that's yeah. so nice. There are, other, there are other moments too. Okay, Him my father, to my, my hero, hero kind of thing. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. What about you? Uh, well, for me, I just think one of the fondest things about my dad is not basic. It's not necessarily a memory or that a particular time, mm. but he has this way of, um, he's a creative. So he has this way of making up rhymes and jingles on the spot. Mm -hmm. So when you're in like a, a not so wonderful mood, he'll come around and he'll make up these little poems and jingles and it's always so entertaining and fun. So that is one of my fondest things to remember about how my dad is. Yeah. And I guess I got a little bit of the creative I think I was side gonna, I was gonna say the same from thing. him as well. Because you sing very well. That's where you got it from. Okay, Sam. Don't run. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to continue the love of loving up on our dads by inviting a special guest on the show mm -hmm. to get to know more about him and how he's like living out his best dad life. Best dad life. Ever. <laughs> okay. And that is Mr. Anwar Wright. Pretty sure some of you out there might know him. And but yeah. we're going to know him a little bit more right after this break. So stay tuned. Oh, hey guys. I'm Chef Samantha George. And here at Mega Mart, they have a ton of wines. Red wines, white wines, rosés, chardonnays, Sauvignon Blanc. Like, oh. you got to come here, guys. Remember to come and enjoy the Mega Mart experience where you can find all of this and so much more. There is a wine for everyone. I'm Chef Samantha George. See ya. All right. So welcome back. We are joined by Mr. Anwar Wright, attorney at law. I feel like I need to, you know, be a little bit <coughs> formal <laughs> using his, his jacket suit. And, you know, we're, we're about to get right into this. But we're not about the law today. We're all about 
fatherhood. Fatherhood and mm. you know what it's like being a dad. But firstly, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, well, I am an attorney at law mm -hmm. and I practice corporate and commercial law. Um, well, I run a full, a full service law firm and we do everything from uh, your conveyancing to your civil litigation, your criminal advocacy, um, a, a, lo a lot okay. of... Okay, <laughs> well, I'm just smiling and, I'm smiling and nod because we don't know what some of these terms are, but yeah, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you have a rights to riches story? Like your, with, no, with your career? Like what, what's no, no. Actually, uh, my mother paved the way for me, so I give all props, all kudos to her. Yeah. Okay, she's also in the, the same career. She's field. retired now, but she okay. literally paved the way, okay. and I had some big shoes to fill. All right. Still have them, actually. Yeah. Oh. All right. So now, <clears throat> you are a father to how many children? Three. 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 Oh, that sounds like you've been in this fatherhood game for a long time. Try and true. That's what <laughs> say. Once you have one, it's like, and then two. Three is like a crowd now. Three is a crowd? Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> so are you going back for more, Mr. Wright? I do want more kids. Oh. So I do want enough. more kids. <laughs> when did you know that you wanted to become a dad? Well, I always knew I wanted to be a father, a good father, mm -hmm. and, you know, a father who would. Um, be there for my children, mm -hmm. provide for them, guide them, and you make them replicas of myself. Oh, replic. Hmm. Now we have to be careful on that mm -hmm. one there. Yeah. Now. So you train mm -hmm. them up to take over your law, law firm one day? Oh, no, no, no. I don't restrict them at all. Like mm -hmm. they have full reign to become whoever they want to be. Right. Uh, you mean you try and influence mm -hmm. them in particular directions, mm -hmm. but you know, you can't, you can't force anyone to be mm -hmm. who they are not. Yeah, everybody must be who they are. Okay. I are believe you, that. Are you a girl dad or a boy dad? Boy, I... Well, I, I have, well, you have two girls <laughs> and a boy. Yeah, so you're going to tell us. So oh, so you have two girls and a boy. Yes, yeah, so okay. two thirds. I have, to be very, I have to be very careful because I love my big girl. <laughs> she is my star girl. Mm -hmm. um, I, love my, I love my son, my one son very very much i'm gonna assume and that when you say you'd want another one you were going you're going back for another boy yes kinda just level. yes i kind of did want to, okay. to level it out okay yes. okay so what you love most about being a dad then uh boy that's hard i love everything about being a father mm -hmm. uh if i had to choose something that i would say i love most about mm -hmm. being a father it would be being there for the kids being there when they call upon me, being able to to, to show up, mm. to show up. Are you a hands-on kind of dad in terms of you're at the P, you're in the PTA, you're at the PTA meetings, you're at you the go sports, to every little events, in, like, I, I go to the like events, behind but the scenes. I'm not on the PTA. I'm not, not uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, attorney at law, you're quite busy. Mm, yes, very you're busy. In meetings very busy. upon meetings and a lot of hours, minimum mm -hmm. hours. I'm just coming it. from a, a meeting. A meeting, right? Now. All right. Oh so that, that brings us to the next point. How do you manage to juggle being an attorney at law who is managing a firm and mm -hmm. also taking care of three children? Yeah. Boy, that's hard. That's hard. They didn't teach us balance in school at exactly. all. Uh, yeah. That one I had to learn on my own. Mm -hmm. they, it was, they was a trial thrown into by the deep, fire kind deep of end. thing. Mm -hmm. right. But it, yeah. it, it really takes um, a lot of organizing, right. uh, structuring. Definitely have to work with uh, a good diary and um, support, having a support system. So you have a secretary, right? Of course, of course, uh, of course, of course. But I, I was talking I about, yeah, I know, about I the support system, you know, like, like your family. family. Yeah. You know, family I have a lawyer, friend, a lawyer friend too. He has a secretary that manages his own life. Yes, his no, life, you, you, you literally have your life revolves around your diary. Yeah. And you put everything in there. You have the sections, you put your, your work stuff in there, and you put your personal stuff. Everything revolves around your diary. You have to have it that way or everything's going to be chaotic. Okay, so do you schedule? There's a thing I saw about having dates with your kids. Do you like go with your son one on one, <laughs> and then the daughter, and then the other one? <laughs> yes, I do actually. Um, and and this weekend uh, was um, Ariel's, my daughter, my big girl's sweet sixteen. So oh. spent the weekend Ooh. celebrating her, and it was it was a blast. She enjoyed herself. Is That's it a, is it a challenge being 
a, a father to a teenager, like the teenage years are kind of tricky. <sighs> Okay, I think that kind of answers it. <laughs> it's phases. It's, it's, they're phases. Mm -hmm. Right, and there's no, there's no hard and fast rule and no one situation is the same. I mean, I'm three times now and it's three different situation, experiences. Yeah. Huh. Three different experiences. Okay. What, what is one of your fondest memories uh, about being a dad? Like a moment with your children that you hold very dear to your heart? Okay. Uh, drive in and you hear both occasions I can remember this specifically drive in and you hear your your son is talking to you and he uses a big word um, like you know conceptualize or something like that and you're just like what who are you <laughs> <laughs> who are you okay yes and the same thing with my daughter too as well when and growing up she would she would have conversations with me and I'm like, how are you getting so big so fast, mm. so quickly? Okay. And okay. so intelligent. Ah. Uh, right. Okay. That's nice. So what are some of the advice you now you have for dads? For new dads, people that, men that want to become dads, men who are faltering, like anything, mm. anything that can be uplifting to... There's a whole lot of advice that I could give, but then we'd sit here forever. But um, I think the main important things are um, you could start with being patient. Um, it's important to be patient with your kids. I mean, we have done it already. We have gone through the experiences. Right. We have been there. We have done that. And, and perhaps our experiences are not even the same type of experiences that the kids mm -hmm. are having. You have to be patient with your children, allow them to express themselves, guide them in the right way, allow them to realize certain things, you know, on their own. Oh, don't, don't be too hard on mm -hmm. them. Um, I would say you have to also be uh, adaptable or dynamic with your parenting style. Uh, the, as I said earlier, there's no hard and fast rule. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. you literally have to, I, I'm, I'm raising my kids now and I'm imparting on, on them, um, you know, my beliefs and my morals and, you know, my, um, the things that I hold dear to, to me. But mm -hmm. the method or the methodology is different for all three because they're all three different people. So, you know, there's no, there's no set way that mm -hmm. you, you can say, okay, I'm going to parent this way. And then what worked in 1990? It may not work, you know, in, in, in 2024. Yeah. Definitely. Right. How do you keep, well, you know, men have the, you know, the testosterone. How do you manage, like, keeping your cool when you're trying to discipline them? Oh, like, I've learned patience. I've learned patience through my work. I've learned patience through my kids. I've learned patience through um, relationships generally. I'm talking about with, with, with employees, with staff, with family with everybody staff. i um you believe as in therapy as well as, as like, have you ever done therapy like you believe in that uh or books that you've read not for myself but i do believe that there is benefit to to garner from um speaking to people yeah mm -hmm. and expressing yourself um i mean i deal with things uh differently uh you know I, and not everybody needs to deal with things how i deal with them right because I believe I can reason things out by myself, you know, and <laughs> okay. I, I don't think in, I'm going to be stuck in my a, own true, way, right. you know, because I'm going to look at things objectively, but then not everybody works like that. Right. And some people really need to sit down and express themselves. Okay. That is. Uh, you know, sometimes it, it becomes a, a little bit difficult for us to choose gifts for the dads. I mean, you know, females, we like the softer things, we like the appliances, we like roses, mm -hmm. we like sweets and stuff. But sometimes I feel like the men kind of get left behind. We, we might yes. get a cologne <laughs> or some socks <laughs> or a tie. Socks. <laughs> oh, yes. So what are some of the gift ideas that you can give us that we could possibly pick up for our dads this um, or even yeah. Or just, yeah. yeah, for men generally? Well, um, I would say anything that is useful or has practical, good utility yeah. or is practical is is good for 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 men but you know I like mean, a toolkit uh, uh, it's stereotypical though but like a, well when you break it down really i would say that you know anything that makes us feel appreciated anything that we can look at and we say i feel appreciated that is a good gift okay yeah i would say that 
Right. So probably something uh, uh, personalized, like you know what the person will like, and mm -hmm. not necessarily socks because all men wear socks. Me, if all if, the time. if if for example, and I'm just throwing this out here, maybe I get it. Um, but if you you were supposed to take a picture, and there's this thing where you can put um, the picture in the the little uh, glass cube. That'd mm -hmm. be good. You know, something I could put on my desk. Oh, okay. And I look okay. at it and I, yeah, that, that that's, is... That's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that's thoughtful nice. gifts, mm -hmm. gestures, mm -hmm. practical gifts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. That's right. good. That's a, that's, a, that's a good one. So we, we're getting ideas from the dad right now. So, <laughs> And in addition to that, we also have many things for you to choose from at Mega Mars. And we're going to talk about that right after this break. So welcome, welcome back. All right, so we would have spoken about the Father's Day gifts that we're going to have at Mega Mart. And of course, we have these baskets that we're putting together. And Mr. Wright, since you're yeah. a dad, yes. and we've put this together together for, for the dads, I would want for you to tell me what you think. Who are you Do you think from? that we would... Um, <laughs> that we, <laughs> As a, as a dad, if I presented this to you, yes. right? What 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 do you think of it? Ah, yeah. let me see. All right. So you tell us if we've done a good job, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So you have your self care stuff in there. Your mm -hmm. Dove Men, which is a good brand. I okay. like that. I'm not sure sure about the coffee, coffee. still, but <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. the peanuts, the mug could be a little mandel, but mm -hmm. yes, and. Uh, you know, some, some champagne, some right? Champagne, some okay. champagne. What about but this see, one? You have the scotch over there and the scotch he, glass. Right, what about this one? Right, yeah, man, this, this one is... He's not a coffee person, but so I guess this whiskey would, right. would, would do better for you. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. This is what? This is what something to, to show with. Mm -hmm. This is what? Like a back scrub thing. Yeah, man, this is utility right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and you have utility, you have, your, you have your scotch, mm -hmm. right? You have a rum cake. Yeah, man, peanuts. Peanuts. And your self care in this one. All right, so, so this one wins. <laughs> <laughs> this is the winner. That's the winner. But like we, like I said, we have a different variety of baskets for you to choose from, based on probably what you know your dad would like. So exactly. there is, if you're not a coffee person, and if he's not a coffee person, but he's a whiskey person, mm. then we'll definitely have something for you. In addition to that, we have other things like yeah. your foot massage, your your barbecue grill, your your tool pans. So All many options. Just walk through the aisles, guys, mm -hmm. and you will find something. But these baskets start at four or five, mm -hmm. so you can grab one of these if you're looking for something conveniently, quick and easy. But there are a plethora of other things. Of course. Even something as uh, Air Mr. Wright was speaking about Celebrate. something that is useful, even a fan, because the summer oh is hot. Oh, my gosh. But well, Mr. Wright, thank you so much for joining us today. It was my it was pleasure. And, let the, and talking about, you know, the joys of being a dad yeah. and giving us the advice. I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of men will probably take it in, bear it in mind. We need to be patient. We need to be adaptable, mm -hmm. right? We need to be or organized. Very mm -hmm. organized. And we have to be mindful that what works in years ago probably is not the same. Yeah. 2024, so we have to, you know, change our, our grooming tactics, yeah. I guess. So thank you so much, Mr. Wright, for coming. Yes, it was great it was having, pleasure you. having you. It was my pleasure. And happy Father's Day when it comes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys were great. Oh, thank you. So right now, Chef Sam is going to cook up a storm in the kitchen, of course, because we're going to give you some nice little meal ideas that you can prepare for your daddy come this Father's Day, right after this break.
if you're looking to wow your dad this Father's Day, I've got a little bit of a smorgasbord for you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you how to whip up a nice little platter for the man. A very manly, meaty, surf and turf platter. <laughs> Are you ready, Renee? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's anything more masculine than a whole chunk of meat. It's like a chunk of pork. It's like, oh, let's get into it. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know we kind of give you guys that very daunting introduction, but don't fear. This is a pork shoulder. Very simple mm -hmm. cut of meat, but I know some people are like, so Chef Sam, accept me to cook all of that? No, guys, this is what I'm doing. I'm cutting up the pork shoulder into smaller pieces, and we're going to do a char sow sandwich. So it's like, you know when you have like, you ever heard of pulled pork sandwiches? Yes. This is the cut that they usually use. It's from the shoulder, that leg, front leg of the mm -hmm. pork, mm -hmm. and it's somewhere up here, you have two different parts. This so is this a, is, this is a big pig. This is, this is, this is a, big, <laughs> it's a big chunk of meat, but okay, let's go. So char sow is basically Chinese barbecue. We have the sauce here that I picked up from the shelves to make it super simple. You don't have to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. All the ingredients are in there. We're talking sugar, salt, soybean paste, honey, soy sauce, enough good up stuff in this. Very mm -hmm. tasty, mm -hmm. five spice, right? Okay. So we're gonna take this now. You can roast this whole if you want and then break it up into, into like pieces. shredded mm -hmm. pieces. But I'm, I prefer the char sow, mm -hmm. the Chinese style. We're gonna get a sharp knife and we're gonna cut like an inch and a half thick slabs. I'm gonna go this way, and go down. I should have eaten the camera seat, eh? You guys wanna see what I'm doing? You just go down and you just cut it all the way down like that. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna cut off the excess fat and then we're gonna drop it into our bowl over here. Renee, open the sauce for me. Let I me get can on do that. Kid. That I can do. <sighs> okay, <Voila>. great. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna put a couple tablespoons. Ideally, you should marinate this for at least two hours. But you know everything, you know how we stay in Jamaica. We know about marination in the fridge overnight yeah, is the best two hours. for it to just soak in. But it's pork. You can get by with eating pork relatively unseasoned, I think. Salt okay. and pepper. Because mm -hmm. pork is just amazing. All right, so we're gonna, let's clean up. That's right. Just... And we'll move on to the shrimp. So we're going to drop this in the air fryer now. Yes? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to drop them into our air fryer. We just did a quick greasing of the pan here the grill and I also cut the pork pieces in half so I have four pieces now mm -hmm. right and then we're gonna just cook this up and the place is gonna smell amazing okay I'm mm -hmm. ready let's put that in our air fryer so we're saying we're doing a surf and a turf kind of thing or it's, it's separate yes we're about to do some skewers right now so let's press start. So you just give an eye on that, just keep your eyes on it mm -hmm. so it doesn't burn. So low and slow, and then we're gonna crank it up and just baste it with some mortar sauce. Okay. Okay? All right, so let's move on to our shrimp. We're doing our basic salt and pepper shrimp. I don't have any scotch bonnet now, so I figured why not just do some black pepper. You can grind that in there. And we have some red pepper flakes. We're just gonna go over it like that. This, CPJ shrimp came with a Constanza seasoning. So I was just like, let's try this, eh? What is that? Constanza liquid seasoning. Okay. Can put a little bit of this on there as well. I like experimenting and just having fun in the kitchen. Is that good? Just or more? More. Okay. So we're gonna put a little bit of this concoction here. Actually, let's give it a taste. Is it spicy? It kind of tastes like Thousand Island salad Ooh. dressing. Okay, <laughs> that's not bad. So it definitely has some vinegar, vinegar, vinegar notes in there, which is fine for seafood. Um, let's give my hand a quick wash. Keep going. Let me look. Keep going. No, that should be good. Okay. So how about that? Look like about quarter teaspoon. Let's get some salt in there. So black pepper, salt, and. Uh, Red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes. I know, that's how they make pepper shrimps. Oh, no. It's literally pepper, salt, water, and then boil it down mm -hmm. until it becomes, all the water evaporates. And that's and it. And that's it? Salt, 
a little anato for the extra red color. Mm, okay. Very simple. I'm just going to go in and give it a quick toss. Um, we could put some garlic powder in here. Mmm, you smell that pork? Already. And that's that. I think I'm going to add some more pepper. Renee, open it for me. Say when. And you can use any seasoning you want. That's good. You could do a curry flavored shrimp skewer. Mm -hmm. We could do a Cajun. So whatever goes to go to the aisle at the Mega Mart store, you'll see plenty of options. Can we add something else uh, um, bes besides the shrimp on the skewer? You can could do, do veggies, beef. Okay. Tofu. All right, so we can do surf and turf skewers and stuff. Yeah, or exactly. Vegetable. Okay, got gotcha. Exactly. All right, so now all we need to do now, we're going to turn on our stove and let's skew our rainy. So you got some. So I grabbed these skewers from the this, from this store earlier, but they were like the super long ones. Just cut them in half with a knife and you're good to go. What happened? Okay, go ahead, demonstrate. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's that simple. Just go, and these are shell on. Okay. And we're going to put three to four pieces. All right, Renee, so we're going to add some butter. Just get that melted. We're going to add a little vegetable oil to it. And then we're just going to drop the shrimp in. And the pork is almost ready. It looks beautiful, guys. We're going to show you guys that. We mm -hmm. have a little bit of a cucum pickle cucumbers in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to toast up some stuffed potato skins that I got from the store in the frozen aisle. The frozen aisle is your best friend if you're looking for convenience. Mm -hmm. Lots of ready-made treats in there, samosas, potato skins, jalapeno poppers, fries, everything that men love. <laughs> And my favorite, garlic bread. Oh yes, exactly. So you can mm -hmm. grab those, save time as well, pop them in your oven or air fryer, and just put them on the plateau. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so stay tuned guys. We're gonna plate up right after this. Yeah. And we All right, are ready with the, the seared peel. shrimp right here. I'm just gonna cut it on the side of this salsa bowl. All right, look at these succulent pork pieces. They look so good. Didn't I good. tell you it's very simple? We got this done in 20 minutes. This is just sauce and then in the air fryer and then we're done. Exactly, it's so simple. So the Father's Day dinner does not have to be tedious. And you have some nice juice. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can scoop out the juices from the bottom because that's nice fat right there. We don't want to waste it. This comes in handy. Yeah. There we go. And All right, now, so we're gonna pull it apart, so we're gonna we're gonna slice it and I mean, then put you, it in the bowl. You could shred it if you want. Mm -hmm. So you can put it in a food processor and shred it, but mm -hmm. I like the slices. Mm -hmm. I'll just cut like that into pieces. You could just serve it like this with some grilled cucumbers on the side, kind of like jerk pork, mm -hmm. but like a Chinese style. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna make some mini sliders with these. And now for the finishing touch, uh -huh. we pour the beer. And there we have it, an amazing feast for all the amazing dads out there. Mm -hmm. Make sure guys, you have your beers chilled mm -hmm. before. You want them to have them nice feast with them cold beer. A nice cold beer. Yes. That's but, always that's always a vibe. Oh, and remember to drink responsibly. I know it's a day of celebrating the dads or we're, we're gonna, you know, sometimes can possibly get carried away with all the excitement. <laughs> but drink responsibly.
endorsed. Mm -hmm. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you just show lots of love to all of our dads out there because mm -hmm. they deserve it. They work super hard. And remember to pick up your gifts at Mega Mart. We have so many gift baskets and variety of things to pick up for the dad in store. Remember to follow us on all socials at Mega Mart Jamaica. Enjoy your Father's Day when it comes. And see you soon. I'm going to enjoy this for the dads in the meantime. Hehehe. <laughs>